It's a beautiful night tonight, and I apologize for not updating this channel more, but I've been putting most of my energy into the other channel, known as the Q&A channel. So, um, I, just to update you guys, if some of you guys don't subscribe to both channels, I've been building a custom 500 gallon tank. Um, basically what you're going to be doing is sitting on the couch here and viewing this wall with the two panes of glass and the 500 gallons of water. And I just wanted to update you. Uh, I know it's kind of off topic. Today's topic of this video is actually on electric blue crayfish, but I just want to give you guys some personal updates because I know some of you guys do care about what I'm up to. I'm always busy with some sort of project or fish, uh, DIY, just everything, guys. This is my life. And um, I guess uh, you should probably follow the other channel if you don't yet. Palmer Fish q and I basically answer questions from people that they send to me. It sometimes gets bogged down with maybe some things you're not interested in. But all in all, it's a pretty cool channel. So without further ado, let's talk about taking care of electric blue crayfish. Um, let's flip the cam. I want to show you guys some cool footage and we'll just start talking about how to take care of them. And I have personally bred crayfish uh, with not too much success. I think what I screwed up was not having enough current in the tank. I truly believe that there needs to be a little bit of current for crayfish to really do well. Um, and I mean just a little, even like a hang on the back filter, it will be adequate. But, and secondly, I think I didn't use a big enough tank. I used a 40 gallon breeder and I don't think it was big enough. Something like a, a 55 or a 75 or this is a 90, whereas they have more space to go back and forth and kind of get a little more exercise. I think that's a huge factor. So uh, let's flip the cam and take a look at some cool photos and vids and just talk about how to take care of electric blue crayfish. All right, so there's a couple things that you should consider when taking care of a crayfish. Number one should be, do I have the right tank size? Like I said before, uh, I advise a 55 gallon minimum. Secondly, um, are your fish going to eat the crayfish or even pick at them? A lot of people say, well, it doesn't fit in my fish's mouth, but the fish will pick at it and pick it to death. That happens all the time. Thirdly, you need to have enough hiding spots. Uh, this is probably the biggest mistake I see people do when they keep crayfish. These things get super insecure at times and they need places to hide. My personal favorite is to use the smaller black ABS plumbing pipes. I know that sounds crazy, but I'll throw a link in the description. They work amazing and uh, it, it gives them a great place to hide and it's really dark like a rock cave and they absolutely love that. And fourth, the fourth thing is they are nocturnal, so you should probably feed them in the dark because a lot of times in fish tanks, when you feed them during the day, the fish eat almost all the food. And I see it a lot of times where the crayfish starve to death because they come out at night and there's no food left. That being said, there is some uneaten food and such in, in the gravel or what have you, but sometimes I see that these things starve to death and that's a huge problem. So. Um, to recap, make sure your fish aren't going to eat them, have enough hiding spots, have a big enough tank, and make sure they are getting food possibly at night because they are nocturnal. So, and if you're looking to buy an electric blue crayfish, I found that the most popular place to buy them is online on Amazon actually, which sounds crazy, but there's a seller known as Aquatic Arts. I'll throw a link in the description box if you're looking to buy one. These are super cool. If you can figure out how to breed them, and you'll probably sell them for a pretty penny because they have tons of babies too. So uh, these are awesome things to keep. I love them. And as far as what's to come with this channel, um, in the future, I am going to be probably moving mostly everything over to the other channel. I've just found that having two channels is kind of tough. I will maybe do some recap videos on like I have a, another video on the other channel about blue crayfish, but um, I just it's easy to just knock out two videos in different channels and um, it gets a lot of cross traction in the industry. So 
Uh, I'll be finishing the tank. I'll be doing tons of DIY stuff because I live this stuff. I'm constantly looking for driftwood. I'm building filters. I'm taking this, this tank apart to use the glass panels in the 500 gallon tank. I got this tank for 20 bucks. Uh, sorry if you follow the other channel, this is all a recap, but um, it's nonstop fish life for me. Um, it's getting dark, it's time to go to sleep. I guess my wife keeps texting me, come to bed, you're gonna regret it in the morning when the baby gets you up. <sighs> I guess that's it guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you have any questions, Hit, hit up the comments at any time. I will do videos on the other channel or this channel, whichever. All right, I'm done blabbing. I promise.